Hi, today we are going to see the demo for uh, bike rental management system. So these are all the software requirements. So this project is available in Android version as well as the web application. For uh, front end, we are using HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. For back end, it is PHP and MySQL. And control end, it will be Angular JS, Angular JavaScript. For Android, we will be using Android Studio Emulator and XAMPP. For PHP, we will be using XAMPP only. Okay. And these are all the modules. So here we have three roles, administrator and vendor and the user. So administrator will be approving the new vendors. Okay. And the vendor will be managing the details of bug, uh, the bike and they can able to update and delete the bike. And they can able to update the Google map location and they will be accepting the booking request from the user side. So the user can able to search the bike by means of city wise, area wise and they can able to reach the office of bike uh, rental office and they can able to uh, make a pre-booking request and they can able to view the booking status for them okay and this is the delivery files so the android src files is the coding source code folder okay so you can view in the uh, android studio and for the web application this will be the project source code so if you open android studio you can see the source code over here in the ww files okay first so let's see how to start the project so to start the project you have to open xamp control panel and open it so if you open xamp you will be getting this window so here you have to start apache and start my mysql so you have to click on start apache and start mysql once it is started it will be in the green signal so mysql is our backend database to see the backend database you have to click this admin button once you click it it will promote you to the web browser and this is your backend database in the left hand side you can select your project db that is bike rental and here you can able to view all the six tables over here so if you want to view the user login you can select the user login table and you can see who are all registered to this app so this is the backend db next you have to open android studio by default all your project folder is uh, imported over here android src folder if you open ww folder you can view the front end files html files over here and the core android codings will be available inside the ang js folder inside that you can see the angular underscore files angular underscore user data admin account. so here we have written the angular js next you have to open the device manager and here you have to select the nixis one and you have to run the emulator so there will be a play button will be there once you start it your emulator getting started over here so here you can see the bike rental app just open it so here we have three rows so first we will start with the vendor login so in the readme file we have given you the uh, credential for admin user and the vendors so you can also create a new users and the vendors so first uh, i will start with the vendor login So vendor login is rental at gmail.com login successfully. So once you log in as a vendor, you can you will have a, you will be having this window so you can able to create a new bike and you can able to update the bikes and you can view new booking from the user side you can view the feedback and the my profile you can able to manage your uh, profile details your name email id etc so you can able to reset edit the the details okay so if you want to create a new bike okay so you can go to the create bike so here you have to mention the bike name what is the cc and what is the cost per hour per day and what is the model and the landmark of your office okay so and your contact number so you have to enter the bike details over here so once you create a bike it will be available in the update bike so here we have created a previous bike called apache and the what is the hours for it and who is the manufacturer what is the cost and all and here we you can able to update the bike you can able to delete the bike 
you can add the image and you can able to update the geolocation of your office so for that click the update map so by default it will be in your city location or else we will change the default location to your location okay so by default your google map will be there so you should have internet connection to load so it is loaded now so by default currently it is in the chennai location if you want to change the location to your location you can change it so what you have to do is you have to select this red bubble and drag and drop the location wherever your shop is located so for example if your shop is near this road you can drag and drop the location and uh, change the red bubble location and click on the update geo so once you update it the user can able to view the google map location directly in the map app or the google website <coughs> so once you receive any new bookings it will be in the new booking request so if the user is booked any request so it will be coming over here so for apache and what is the from date and the to date what is the time and who has booked what is the status so essentially the status will be in the bending status you have to update the status to book or confirm the or delivered like that so you can change the status so as per your wish so waiting list on right or completed so i'm just changing this status to on right so this is what the modules for the vendor side so they will be they can able to view the feedback also so let's go for the admin login so the admin credential is admin@gmail.com password is test so what admin do is admin will approve the bike so if it is eligible if you are registering a new bike it will be in the status of bending status unless it is approved from the admin side it will not be visible for the user side so they can be they will be doing the verification and they will be updating the status to approve okay. this is the first module and second module they can able to view the user details so who are all registered to this app so the admin can able to view the user details for here so this is the admin module and the final module will be the our user module so user is the public so if you want to register a new user you can go to the user registration and fill up your name email id password mobile number and we have the 10 digit uh, mobile number validation 8 digit password validation and the duplicate email id validation so all three validation will be there so i'm just logging with the existing account so once you log in as a user so you will have three options you can able to manage your my profile you can search the bikes over here so you can search by the city wise you can search by any field wise so i am just having only one bike so if you want to view the ratings you can click on the view ratings you can see the rating of 5 and the product comments so it is a great product so if you want to write a uh, feedback you can click on the feedback and you can put the star so we, here we have given you the star so select the star and you can write the comment so the same comments will be visible for the vendor side also and public side so it is submitted successfully so if you want to show the map of the geolocation you can click on the show map so it will promote you to the google website itself
so it is taking some time due to internet still it is loading so you can from here you can able to put the direction and reach in the particular place so in the background you can see the whatever the location you have updated the same red mark you can see it and you can able to reach it so i'm just coming back you have to wait for it so you can book the bike so you can click on the booking so you can enter the request name what is the from date and the from date to date and the, what is the time you are going to take and once you create the booking request it will be available in the my request so you can see your my bookings So once you request, you can provide the from date, what is the time, what is the to date, what is the expected time. So you can provide it. So this is what uh, the modules of the project. So that's all. Thank you.